How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to get that nice crisp professional white background look for your product photos. Uh, you might need to use this either for products that are going on an e-commerce store or for whatever reason you want a white background. This is how you do it. A few steps, quite simple. If you have Photoshop, get that rolling. Uh, let's see here. Open up your photo. So we did a product photography shoot for a doggy brand um, they sell this is for a website they sell a bunch of different types of dog products anyways we're gonna be working with this leash that we photographed start by opening this up um, and you will see the background is pretty white what you want to start off is when you first do your product photos like when you're in the studio taking them make sure you have a white background can like backdrop a uh, white poster board or anything. The whiter you can get the background to begin with, the easier this process will be. So, with this photo, you'll see the background is white, but it's not a true white. If you were to upload this to a um, website with a true white background, you will definitely see this border and the shadows are kind of a little crazy. You'll definitely see it when it's contrasting with a white background. So to fix that, begin by going to select color range and then this will pop up this little thing with the preview window select somewhere on here where you have the whitest kind of area I'm just going to select there and what you need to do is play around with this fuzziness controller and what this does is you can see kind of it messing with it and you want to isolate your product don't go too high because it starts to kind of bite into the color Make sure you want it to be like a true black. Probably gonna leave it around 156. So what that does is it gives you a little dancing ants situation here. What I like to do to begin with, right now this photo looks fine, but what you could do is if you want it to pop more from the white background, like if you had too much lighting and it's kind of overexposed, you could mess with the um, exposure and the brightness a little bit before you start this, but here's an easy way to deal with this. So you have this, you want to go down here to your layers panel and create a group. From that group you want to create a layer mask. Actually before you do that. So once you create this group you want to create a layer mask but I want to isolate this leash so I'm going to go over here to select and I'm going to hit inverse. So now I just selected the whole leash as opposed to the outer part of it. Now Go down to your layers panel, create a layer mask, and what you can do within this is create, within this group that's now a mask, you can create another layer. You can go to edit, fill, make sure you fill it with a complete black background, and what you can do is come over here, hit overlay. And now what this does is it darkens it, and obviously this is way too dark, but you can play with the opacity of it. <clears throat> so this is just if you think you need to darken and isolate your product a little bit more, you can play around with the darkness of just the product. As you can see, I think it looks pretty good this way, so I'm going to leave it, but that is an option for you. What you definitely need to do if you don't need to darken your image is you can skip that and you can just... Go to select, where are you at, orange. So if you didn't need to do that, you didn't need to do that. What you need to do here though, this is definitely something you need to do in order to get your background super white and crispy. Create another group, create another mask, <clears throat> and in this instance, what you're gonna do is you are going to create a layer within this group. You are going to go to edit, fill. Make sure you select a pure white background color. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill this layer with this white. And what that is going to do is it's going to make your white background pop. So now that is a white crispy ass background. <clears throat> like the way it looks, 
looks like that. Now what you can do is if there's any little things that you don't like about it, you can go in and like alter it. Um, what you can do then is outside of these groups. Yeah, I kind of fucked that up. Sorry. Outside of these groups, create a new layer. Put that up top. And now you can come over here and make sure that is white. And if there's any imperfections or anything, you can just go over it. Make sure that's back to normal. You can let's see. Okay, that still works. Slow. Okay. So what you can do is you can go over it and just kind of, you know, if you have any doubts that there's still some kind of weird funky spots or anything like that. That's essentially how you do it. So, initially when we did this um, first group to get it dark, if you don't need to do that, then don't worry about it. But like, for example, if I wanted to be darker to isolate it more, you could mess around with that. Just make sure this is at overlay as opposed to normal. So, with that being said, <clears throat> there's your crispy ass white background. Here's before and here's after before and after. So this method is a lot easier than kind of trying to go with a paint tool and like, you know, going around the border and like cutting it out with a pen tool and like doing all this wacky shit. I would definitely recommend this method. It's super quick. Uh, and that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Catch you later.